this video about the Martingale system. That's right, uh, one of the most popular systems because it works until it doesn't work. That's right, uh, mainly the reason the Martingale system fails is because uh, financial ruin, uh, you chicken out, uh, you breach the table limits and unable to bet more. Uh, but uh, the Martingale system uh, really is a progressive system, a double up system, whatever way you really want to uh, look at it. But uh, I am about to address some of those issues and maybe show you a better way. So let's dive into it. Uh, the problems. You end up betting this massive amount of money and losing and not willing to or not willing to bet that massive amount. So that's right. Uh, you Maybe you have lost 10 or 12 in a row. Uh, I have this little graph here that shows uh, this is an interesting meme that I ran across one day. And of course, it's uh, interesting because if you can win every day by doubling up, uh, you can win 5,300,000 and so on. And uh, the people that are interested in the Martingale system uh, understand this. And uh, it doesn't take much, right? You really only need a small snapshot of wins in succession to where you start to uh, really pile up the money. Now, uh, it takes balls of steel, obviously, right? Because you bet $5 and you have to continually, uh, as, as it's called in the business, pile it up or stack it up and let it ride in order to, you know, really achieve these type of numbers here. And, uh, you know, really, if you run into a situation where you're at uh, 25 wins in a row, which Actually, it doesn't even take that much, right? Because you're at uh, day one. It doesn't really start till like day 10 at $5. So you really only have to win 20 hands in a row, right? So, uh, and actually from being in Vegas and uh, maybe having a, a, a history of betting sports a little bit, blackjack a little bit, pie gal a little bit, uh, uh, baccarat a little bit, it is not too crazy to win like 20 hands in a row. However, you also have to be willing to pile it on from uh, the $5 better or whatever, you know, wherever you started. Maybe you started at 20 right? So uh, let's go back here a little bit. Uh, you go broke because of a losing streak. That's right. Uh, the Martingale system, this is why it normally fails is because people can't imagine. Oh, you think about, oh, I can't actually lose, you know, 10, 20 hands in a row. But you can't and uh you have and uh, that's why the system has failed actually uh early in my career or whatever you want to call it uh you know started my uh you know bright eyes in vegas and and trying this out and going to the gambler's bookstore and, and running across the martingale system as a young buck in vegas uh i i went for a you know long period of time without uh you know, a, lo a losing streak. And that's how come the Martingale system uh, wins. However, uh, you know, really, you put out all this money uh, in these, you know, progressive bets. And, and, and then when you actually win, say, at uh, level 10 or, or whatnot, uh, you know, say right here, you put out $655. Uh, you really don't gain a whole lot. So, um this, my variation of this addresses that too. Let's go back over here. You max out the table limits. Vegas knows about the Martingale system too. So uh, they try to uh, put caps on the limits. Uh, there are, you know, it's pretty flexible. Actually, some of the casinos that are looking to attract these types of fleas, uh, fleas in the uh, casino business. If you're a dealer, you probably understand that terms. These are the people that are sitting at your table trying to run a system and and basically will sit there for hours and uh, you will play with them and uh, maybe even they will explain their system to you as as they did on many occasions uh, very interesting people um, I was a dice dealer blackjack dealer a pit boss a poker dealer uh, in Vegas for a very long time and uh, so I, I know many of these fleas personally and basically um, 
this is how I came up with my version of the Martingale system. How I address these problems. No more massive bets. That's right. Uh, I have a uh, variation of the Martingale system. Of course, uh, Martingale understood that uh, in order to win that you would have to uh, you know, bet more when you're winning, of course, and then bet the minimum am amount when you are losing. So basically, uh, that is uh, a very powerful uh, part of gambling. Uh, you can withstand longer losing streaks. So the Martingale system is really just a graduation. And uh, the scale here, as you can see, 510, you really got about 11 hands till you're betting some serious money. Uh, we're going to go back over here. So uh, you are. So the next thing here is you are betting smaller amounts, never reaching the table limits. I'm going to explain to you how that works and uh, how I address that issue because uh, that's the other problem with the Martingale system. You uh, lose your nerve and don't uh, deliver on that final bet where it becomes a situation where you're going to got to put out. The thousand bucks, two thousand bucks, whatever the case may be. So that is a problem. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and go back to this here. Uh, again, um, this is a one through 30 days, a very interesting double up situation here. It uh, really kind of shows that uh, you really don't have to uh, have, you know, some massive string of luck. You more or less have to have balls of steel. Because if you've gambled in Vegas for any length of time, you may have experienced uh, a winning streak, which uh, is, uh, you know, just like, um, you know, losing streaks. I mean, you could actually lose for a good amount of time in Vegas, too, which probably most of you understand that. Uh, in, in this system, we're going to talk mainly about this system, which is basically 10 bets, right? Uh, the beginning amounts the penny and the two penny it really doesn't start to get spicy till day 10 so uh we're going to just look at these uh starting at a five dollar unit and going to this here however uh it's not that crazy to lose 10 bets in a row if you played blackjack uh pie gal anything uh, out there so uh, you could lose quite a few bets in a row and actually with just uh you know we're going to just kind of drop this second digit here if you look at just six hands you could be uh putting out three hundred dollars or six hundred dollars for uh not a whole lot of return i address that issue too so let's look at the betting scale here uh we're going to just look at this uh 10 hands here because in most cases Actually, you can go probably to 11 hands. I think most table maximums will allow you to bet 5,000, but uh, you're going to breach that amount. And then, of course, it's not too crazy to uh, lose 10 hands in a row. So you will indeed find yourself faced with a bet like that, I promise you, if you go along. Uh, one of the ways I address this issue is, so you bet five, um, you bet 10, you bet 20, you bet 40. However, uh, when if you get up here to 163.20, uh, the payoff for the amount of money you put out um, is too small, I, I believe. So uh, I, I have a betting scale that, uh, and I just came up with this real quick to kind of give you an example. Uh, generally, I will pile on more. So instead of uh, 5 and 10, I will bet 12. Instead of 12, I'll bet 25. And instead of 40, I'll bet 55. Instead of 80. And, and again, you can kind of tweak it to how you feel. But I, I feel like that every uh, bet that you put out has to be meaningful and not just try to recover the original $5. And, and I, I feel like that is a bit of a failure. However, also the other thing that I addressed is that from my variation of the martingale system that you are not betting the 1300 the 2700 maybe even not the 600 maybe the 350 maybe the 180 uh which are um perfectly reasonable bets in this situation and i am going to demonstrate that so you ask yourself what is this and how does it work so uh, this is my system here. This is the Martingale, uh, you know, 
system where basically uh, bet one unit, uh, I have applied my uh, betting scale versus uh, Martingale's double up betting scale. And uh, my answer to most of the problems are this. So you can lose 10 hands in a row in Vegas. I'm sure that uh, you've uh, been to Vegas and you've experienced that. It's not too hard. And you can win 10 hands in a row. However, uh, that uh, has, uh, you know, I have addressed that with, with basically this. I uh, spread this out to 10 Martingale scales, right? That's what they're maybe called. I, I don't know, but for this video, we'll call them scales. And basically what happens is you will be playing 10 Martingale scales versus one, which if in this situation for this demonstration, you're going to go, oh, you won this one. You will go this one, bet the same five units. Maybe that is a loss. And then basically maybe you lose this one and maybe you win this one and then maybe you lose this one and maybe you go on to win this one this one this one and then lose this one and then lose this one okay so uh how this works again is you will start in column one and basically uh say you because you won this one you will again bet five dollar unit right and say you lost that unit, okay? So then you will move to column two, and because you lost column two, uh, you will bet $12. So that, uh, say you win. Uh, so you have cleared this column here, uh, preventing you from going too high on the scale. So basically you will start back at uh, number one, and basically that'll allow you to restart in that column. Number three, let's say you uh, booked another loss there. So uh, you will move on to column four, which uh, you won. So you are not going to bet the, uh, you know, this amount here, which is 25. You're going to bet this column here, which uh, maybe you lost, right? So uh, basically you will come to column five. And this here, uh, you know, it's, it's of course, it's always um what in practice everything works out perfectly right in live games uh works out much differently and uh, we are going to test it in a bit of a live game here just sh shortly and uh, so that way we could get a more randomness behind it but as you can see here if you're taking and betting these smaller units and then when you're taking and uh, you know maybe you go on a losing streak you could actually stand to lose maybe 30 hands in a row right because i i feel like ideally you want to play like 10 martingale systems right so you could lose up to 30 hands in a row and basically uh you know not really be in a position where you have to bet 27 2700 dollars yet your next bet if you've lost 30 hands in a row will only be 55 dollars so <clears throat> How does that work out? So basically, you know, say you lost, lost, and you're faced with a $55 bet. Well, if you are down to the next column, the next column you have uh, wins, so you're only betting $5. You're actually, uh, you know, spreading out your bad luck and also uh, not faced with huge bets but also playing the same martingale system i i feel like this really reduces the chance of ruin uh also uh this is also interesting too which i'll talk about later while in while doing the demonstration and that is um you, you know the biggest problem here is that you're putting up all this money for maybe not a uh, you know a lot of return so i'm going to take and just uh, X these out here and delete all these. And I have this game here so we can test this. And and we're going to play five columns for time's sake. Um, and I'm, I'm choking to death here trying to uh, explain this out. So that way uh, you can see it work in, in real time. We can play a, a couple of hands here. And I, I can talk about... Uh, the the interesting nuances of this system and actually if you're familiar with the martingale maybe the light has gone off maybe it hasn't 
but uh, we're we're not gonna go ahead and and um we're gonna make this kind of simple like i said of course for time and uh so we're gonna just rebet here we're gonna start with five dollars and then we're going to uh deal as you see here and we're just gonna play houseway and uh that's a push and the reason why I use the uh, Pi Gal Poker, because it's uh, just, uh, you know, it's 50-50, right, to, to some extent. So, we won, right? So, there's a W there. Ah. We'll go W there. And uh, we'll delete that there. And then we go to column two. We are going to rebet. And then we're going to deal okay and we're gonna go houseway we'll push rebet deal and houseway we're gonna win that bet a lot so win so rebet and then deal and basically we're gonna go houseway and rebet deal and houseway okay rebet unfortunately there's lots of pushes with this here houseway all right win so we're off to a course it's always fun in practice right because you always win in practice right deal and houseway okay rebet deal houseway Oh, did we push that? Oh, that's horrible. Rebet. Deal. <laughs> Deal. Full house. Maybe we win that one. There we go. Win. Wow, we're off to a great start, right? So, rebet. Deal. King, queen. <laughs> Deal. Deal. Queen. Maybe we lose this one. Nope. Rebet. Deal. Deal. All right. So we lost one. Finally. Okay. So what we got here is, of course, five wins and one loss. So next go round, you're going to go ahead and bet $5, right? So let's reset here. Rebet. Deal and houseway probably going to win that a lot okay so another win so we're going to go here to two deal and then uh houseway okay push rebet deal uh push rebet deal we probably lost one all right, here we go. So that is a loss. So we're going to go to three. It's another $5 bet. Rebet. Deal. Jack eight. Oh, we got notched. Rebet. King queen. All right, so we lost that one. Okay, next one, four. So basically, we got a win here. So we're betting $5 again. Houseway. Push. Rebet. Deal. Kings. We win. All right, another win. So now we're finally to a loss. So we're going to bet $12. So we're going to... Um, new hand. Let's see. Oh, won't let us bet exactly $12. 10. Okay. So, uh, again, for this demonstration, we're going to pretend this is $5. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and deal. And, of course, we pie got pretty good, so we should lose that. Great. That's exactly what we want to happen. And so we will go back to hand one and bet $5. So we're going to new hand. We're going to bet $5 here. And then we're going to deal. And that's probably a win. No, it's not. Rebet. Deal. 
That may be a win. Nope. Rebat. Deal. It's pretty unlucky. That's probably a win. All right. So, um, basically, we won there. So, we're going to go here to two. And we're going to bet to $10 again. So, uh, new hand. And then we are going to deal. Pretty weak hand. Not weak enough. Rebet. Deal. Ace queen. Ah, we lost. So two losses in a row. Okay. So here we're betting the $10 again because uh, this is a loss we're betting here. So we're going to go rebet and clear. Oh, sorry. Deal. And we houseway. We lost. All right. Good. This is good. I want to show how this is going to work. So we got $5. So we're going to new hand. And $5. We're going to bet. And then we're going to deal. Another pie gal. Hopefully we lose. Perfect. So now we have some losses. All right. So here we are on uh, column five, and now we're going to bet $25. So we're going to go new hand. Of course, we're going to get a siren two to help us out. We're going to bet that $25, and we are going to deal. Okay, this sh should win a lot of times, which it does not, which is excellent. And we will put in our loss here. So we are back to $5 bets, new hand. And we're going to go over here and bet the $5, which now we have a very interesting situation uh, evolving here, which we've booked a lot of losses, right? As you can see. But yet we still do not have to put out a huge amount of money, as you see. Uh, because as we go along through these scales, which we're playing all these Martingale systems, that uh, this prevents us from ruin. Right, so we will go here again, and we're betting five dollars, and we will. Ah, we should win this one a lot, of course. Push, rebet, and deal. And we should lose this one good amount of time. Nope, rebet, deal. Pair, pair. All right, so of course another win. So here we are here. We're betting $25 on this scale here. And then we're going to go a new hand. We're going to move to the 25 and then we are going to bet that. And then we are going to deal. Pair, pair. Rebet. Deal. Pair, pair. Push. And then we got a deal. Ooh, another loss. Perfect. All right, so we're betting 25 again. So we're going to rebet. And then deal. So it's a pretty interesting hand there. Nope. Reset. And deal. Should be a pretty poor hand here. Ah, loss. All right, so now we are betting $10, so we're going to go new hand, and we're going to go, and again, I know it says 12, but we are just, for the demonstration, won't allow us to bet the actual amount, so we are going to deal. We should win this a good amount of time, and we do. So now we have won this one, so we will wipe this one out, and uh, that will be a win and then we will also bet $55 on this hand so we will go new hand you're gonna have to use your imagination a little bit because like I said we're just trying to do our best here to uh, you know show you this scale and the uh, demonstrate the risk of ruin is actually lowered by quite a ways and we will go ahead and deal we get three pair. That should win a good amount of time. Boom. So now we have one here. So basically what happens is this is all deleted. And we have cleared that. 
line and now we are to win so we are back here betting five dollars and we are going to go new hand and we're going at the five dollar level and then we are going to bet and then we are going to deal just a pair should lose a good amount of course we didn't that's a win we're going to go back to the fifty dollar level and new hand we're going to go here and we're betting fifty dollars got it and we're going to deal all right that's a good hand maybe we'll clear that boom we've cleared that so now we have delete 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 we got our win so next one we were betting five dollars but we are back here with the at the fifty dollar level with line three so we're going to go ahead and rebet and then we are going to deal all right nice pie gal there we should lose this a lot and as well we did so now we have a loss which is good uh, again shows us how uh our system works and now uh, we have all these losses here and i'm going to address this loss column here if it gets too high to avoid going ruin even further so now we are going to go new hand and bet five dollars again and then we are going to deal nine eight perfect rebet deal semi okay hand push rebet deal and jack 10 pretty poor hand still a push deal another pie gal okay we lost so that is a loss so we're going to go back here we're going to bet five dollars again rebet and then we're going to deal and we got a medium hand we pushed we're going to rebet and we are going to houseway and we get a lucky push and we're going to rebet semi strong hand and we get a push rebet pretty weak hand and but we still get a push deal pretty weak hand still get a push deal another weak hand finally get a loss all right so that's a loss here we will go back here and bet the five dollars rebet and then we will deal pretty strong hand here uh, it's a straight flush with aces <laughs> probably going to win that a lot of course that's a win we're going to rebet the five dollars and we're going to rebet and that's a deal and another pretty strong hand should win a lot uh, we got to win there next one we're at a hundred dollar level here which is good we're going to new hand this and we're going to bet a hundred dollars and we are going to deal of course we get pretty weak hand here we'll see what happens that's a push rebet and deal got another semi weak hand we lose okay that's actually good because again the next level i will show you what we're up against so uh here we're gonna go to the ten dollars here we're gonna deal and we're gonna go houseway and we lost all right so we are going to rebet the ten dollars and deal pretty good hand here all right we got a win so we are back here with the w so again we will bet the five dollars a new hand and then we will bet and then we will deal pretty good hand again oh rebet deal we got beat there so that is a loser and then we will still bet the five dollars reset 
rebet, sorry, deal. And of course, semi weak hand, not enough. And then deal. And semi strong hand, not enough. We get a lose. All right. We've got the losses piling up. We're going to the 1A level. So we're going to bet 175 here. Again, this is for demonstration. It's not too crazy to bet a $180 here. So we really haven't got to the uncomfortable level. And but we're gonna try to you know get as close as we can here. We're gonna new hand this and we're gonna go 100 bet. And then of course we can't get to 180. Well, wait, maybe we can. Let's see. 175 and then 180. Okay, so we're gonna deal. All right, pretty strong hand there. So, um we're, of course, going to go that route. Boom. Winner. So now we have one on this column. We have cleared that column out. And next time we go around, we will be betting $5. And, of course, this one here, we bet $25. So we're going to go new hand and then... We're going to bet the $25 and deal. Not a very strong hand. We lose. So we got this line here piling up the losses. And then we're going to go new hand. And then we're going to bet the $5. And we're going to bet. And then we're going to deal. So uh, again, not extremely strong hand. Push. And we're going to deal. And semi-strong hand. And we win. So here we are going to bet the $10 new hand. And we are going to deal. Okay. Semi-strong hand. Boom. So we got that one. So we are back here with win. Same thing here. We're going to rebet. And then... We're going to deal. Surprised I haven't made a mistake yet. Pretty weak pie gal. We got a loss here. Now we are back to the $5 there. And then we're going to new hand and bet $5 and deal. Pretty decent hand. Should win a good amount of time. Of course we don't. So that would be a loss. And we will go to the $50 hand. And we will deal. Not a strong hand. Let's see what happens. And of course we lose. Okay. And so we won this one. So we'll be new hand. And of course $5. And we will deal. So my strong hand. Deal. Not a strong hand. We get wasted there. Loss. And then we go to $5 again. Reset. And deal. And then we get a pretty good two pair. All right. So we win there. Here we'll go to 25. New hand. 25 level. And then we will deal. Pretty good hand. Boom. So we won that. So we will and go to win there. Next one is the $10 level. New hand. And then we will deal. Pair pair. Pretty strong. Not strong enough. Okay, we win that one, so we will go here, put a win, and move on to this line, which is a $100 hand. And then we will bet, and then we will deal. Not a particularly strong hand. Rebet, deal. King, queen. Rebet, deal. 
semi-strong hand. Deal. Not a strong hand at all. We get lucky. Rebet. Deal. See what happens here. And we win. So, if you see here, we will clear out that column here. And then we win, which will be the amount. So, as you can see here, just from this scale, and we're going to stop here. I think you get the idea. I'm going to talk on one other point here. You can see we're actually up money from this scale. Uh, we have cleared all the lines. Uh, a couple of them got kind of high. And really, so this is my answer to this exact situation. Um, you are no longer, you are betting smaller amounts and never reaching the table limits. So as you see here, we, we, uh, of course had some columns that were building up losses, but never, you know, really betting a huge amount of money, like $2,700. So, uh, there's that. And, you know, 180, if you're not ready to bet 180, maybe you shouldn't be doing it. And then the other problem here is, um, you can withstand longer losing streaks. As you also, uh, saw in this demonstration, we had some losses piling up. And from, uh, you know, minimizing our uh, risk of ruin by, of course, if you're just playing one column and this is your betting scale, that you're able to, uh, you know, minimize your risk here. That is super key. And then also, uh, no more massive bets. So this is the last point that I want to make. Let's say you build up losses all the way in this, this column here. You're losing, 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 losing. $660. Now, you, you may choose to go ahead and bet $660, which, uh, you know, it's, it's hard to say, but that's at the point where it starts getting uncomfortable. Now, what you can do in this situation, and especially if you're going the way I talked about, you're betting, you know, 10 columns, right? And, and say you have a column here, you're, you're winning in all the other columns. Maybe you're betting 25, you have a couple losses, but you get this one column where you are, you, you are at this level right here. You've lost all these in a row. Well, what I do in this situation is I will go ahead and just eliminate this column. I will no longer play that column. And, and basically what that does is it, now you are playing nine columns. And you're still going to win, uh, but you are going to be in a deficit because of this column where you've lost these units here. But as long as you keep going through these columns, uh, continually, uh, you know, minimizing your risk, this column here, which uh, of course, uh, you know, has the exposure to be going broke, uh, that you're just eliminate. If you allow the long term to take over, you will eventually, you know, get this money back over playing the nine remaining columns. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions, please make a comment below. I would be happy to address those for you. Uh, I hope this demonstration made sense to you, and I hope you win tons and tons of money. Have a wonderful Sunday morning.